Welcome back to the channel guys, in yes guys, the official proper Lamborghini Huracan successor, i.e. the Lamborghini Temerario, which is Spanish for reckless, has officially been spied testing around Santa Gata Bolognese, and as you guys can see, it does look really good, a proper eye-pulling Lambo, a basic quintessential Lambo, if you will. But the one sad thing about the all-new Temerario is, it lacks the one thing that connects it back to the old gen legendary predecessors, i.e. the Gallardo and the proper Huracan, i.e. a V10. This is sadly no longer going to have a V10 as the power plant because that is being swapped out with a 4 litre twin turbocharged V8 that comes out right from the Urus because of course it has been reportedly said by the very people who have spotted this very prototype testing around Santa Gata Bolognese that it sounds very much similar to that of the Urus thereby indicating that it is going to have the same twin turbo V8 4 litre motor with a hybrid guys of course because it is also going to get the same 8 speed dual clutch right out of the Revolto and that comes hitched with an electric motor thereby showing that it is going to have a complete hybrid powertrain but we do not know if it's going to have the same trielectric motor setup as the Revolto but only time will tell and we also know another indication to the fact that it's going to be a hybrid is the fact of the high voltage stickers on the camo wrap a complete new look a massive front bumper with new hexagonal DRLs new flat lined headlights with a cheeky sticker of the Gallardo headlights on the bonnet on that's something cool to throw it back to the good old days you see some vents behind the doors as well your basic stuff and when you work your way up towards the top of the rear fenders you see some massive vents right there as well those to obviously cool the complete hybrid power train but the main thing and the proper eye puller if you ask me is the rear end because of course first off it gets a massive diffuser but when you curve off to the ends it has a significantly high finish similar to what you can find on the Huracan Technica but that still has a lower finish but this has a significantly higher finish than that thereby exposing the better chunk of the tire to the elements but nevertheless it's a complete new design and of course the main elephant in the room being the massive exhaust on its own akin to that of the Revolta a very big fighter jet style view on its own and of course this also not only gets the 8 speed dual clutch transmission right from the Revolto, it also gets the carbon fiber tub from the Revolto, but it also has a couple of similarities on the interior. But so far, this is all that we can see. It's got a miniature passenger side dash on its own. That is something that we find on the Revolto, but that's as much as we can see. We can't see if the same instrument cluster is the same as what we can find on the Revolto. But nevertheless, summer 2024 is not far away, and that also means that the proper unveiling of this is inbound in summer of 2024, and that means that we will see this properly break cover i.e. the Temerario it will break cover at Monterey Car Week at the Quail event of course and well it can't come quick enough because we've got a buttload of supers and hypers making their way and obviously making their way for their proper debut on its own and this joins that list and well what do you guys think but nevertheless guys the fact still remains that we are losing out on the wheat and I mean the big joke of the Huracan STG on its own I mean that is completely unworthy of being the last ever wheat and powered Lambo but nevertheless, hopefully Lambo do something about it because of course the proper star out on its own is a proper off-road optimized monster because you're getting the 5.2 NA V10 over 600 horsepower for that and well that is a beast and I expected that to be the last ever V10 powered Lambo yet here we are with the stupid STJ where it is completely unworthy of being and carrying the fact of the last V10 powered Lambo but nevertheless here we are with the twin turbo V8 successor Aida Temerario and of course, it's suspected to make over 800 hours per, meaning that it will compete with the likes of the McLaren Artura and the Ferrari 296 GTB. And that raises the question, what will you pick? And of course, to answer that question, you would have to take a proper thorough look at the Temerario, which is probably going to break cover at Monterey Car Week and at most likely the Quail event. But nevertheless, that is not that far away. And of course, guys, in terms of the design, it's completely got a complete distinct look than that of the Revolto. And of course, in terms of the old gen predecessors, i.e. the Gallardo and the Huracan, they probably shared some things with the R8 supercar by Audi and of course now the R8 is completely out of production and the successor to that will be completely all electric. Hence of the fact that that is why that this is borrowing the 8 speed DCT and the carbon fiber tub right out of the Revolto. Hence that completely makes up for it as to why it doesn't have any sort of proper similarities to what Audi is making because of course it's going to be a complete all electric supercar on its own as the R8's successor. Meanwhile, we are still getting a complete hybrid car with a complete internal combustion engine as its proper power plant but nevertheless it still doesn't make up for the fact that we are losing out on the legendary NAV10 by Lambo and well that's something that's going to be very hard for us petrol heads to swallow well what do you guys think let me know thoughts in the comments below and well thanks a lot for watching guys remember that sub button and click the bell to ensure you don't miss out on any future videos thanks a lot for watching guys see ya